Hi and welcome to our chapter 4 as part of design fundamentals. How you basically learn to draw objects a little better. What we are going to cover today is a question that might have arisen for you after yesterday's session, which is, is there some way I can draw objects such that I always get their proportions right? This must be your dilemma. The answer is yes. There is a very simple manner in which objects can be drawn very accurately and that is through isometric drawing. Remember the basic shapes in the building blocks we began with? You have a square that becomes a cube, a rectangle that becomes a cuboid, a circle that becomes a sphere, a triangle that becomes a pyramid, and even a pentagon that becomes a dodecahedron. Now every shape can be projected into 3D. Whenever you see a projection of a shape like this, if you notice, all the sides look the same size, even if they are seen at an angle. It looks like this cube has simply been tilted at a 30 degree angle, so that instead of seeing just one side, you are seeing three sides of it. So how can forms be projected into 3D? Whenever you have an object and you have seen it from only one side, whether it is the top, the front or the side, using this isometric drawing principle, which is simply projecting it, you can start visualizing them in 3D. But now most 3D drawing has a dilemma, which is whenever you see something in 3D, objects that are closer to you appear to be bigger and objects that are farther from you appear to be smaller. Now, even when you're drawing a single object, the side or the angle of the object, which is closest to you, will look a little bigger than the side that is farther away from you. That is not going to be helpful when you want to draw something accurately. So if you want to draw them and visualize them in 3D, especially if you want to design and get things correctly and accurately, what you need is something called isometric drawing. Isometric drawing simply means you map one metric space into another so that the distance between them is accurate which means the front of the object, the lines that are at the very forefront are the same size as the lines that basically occupy the back. If you were to make a transparent move of these letters, the I, the S and the O, you will see transparent dotting at the back and you'll realize that in the front, while this has occupied three units, the line at the back will also occupy three units. And that is what makes this an accurate representation. This helps this drawing also become machine readable, which means any manufacturer or any producer can just see this drawing and understand the proportions. And that is what will help them develop things accurately. Now, let us begin with once again, a building block, which is a cube. We have a square that has been tilted and turned into a cube. Now, when you have a cube, you will notice that all the sides are supposed to be the same. And in isometry, what happens is the front of the object, which is facing you, is the same size as the supposed back of the object, which you may not really see. But in terms of proportion, they are all the same. This front of the object will also be the same as this back line of the object. There is no recession. And that is exactly what makes drawing on an isometric grid accurately. An isometric grid is made of triangles. Every triangle is an equilateral triangle that this is a 60 degree angle that every triangle gives. And that is what makes everything accurate. If you take this to be one inch, this is also one inch. This is also one inch. And that is also one inch. Every line is the same. So when you draw something using isometric proportions, you are making sure that every side of your product is the same size. Let's see how we can draw something using an isometric grid. For example, if you want to draw objects to scale, you will realize that when you use an isometric grid, every side will be shown accurately. The same goes for drawing out spaces. If you have something as a plan, something that is flat, it is possible to project it vertically accurately using an isometric drawing to actually show people how the inside of the place looks or how the experience and the arrangement is in three dimensions. These are just a couple of examples, 
But today, let us take a couple of back steps and figure out how we can draw things isometrically. How do you use this to draw objects? If you remember in our previous session, we had broken things down into three parts. The first is starting with your basic shapes and construction lines, then adding in the shapes that define the object, and finally drawing the outline and the details in the darkest lines. For example, if I want to draw a chair, I will break it down using basic construction lines like this. Now, all of this is again following an isometric grid, where the line at the back is the same as the line in the front, and this line which is in the front is the same as this line which is further away from me. Now I know that all my proportions are correct. After which, I will draw the basic shapes that make it. I will draw semicircles, rectangles, arcs, and I will start filling this up. Now I will start adding in outline details using a different pencil. What you see in dotted lines is the back of the object where it's basically a projection, but you can be sure that what you see in the front is the same as what you will see at the back. And that is what makes the measurements of this object accurate. And that is how you can draw things isometrically. Thank you.